This is how to move a radiator across the wall. So in this video, I'll be going through how to move the radiator from its original position to either save space or change the design of the room. So obviously the first step will be to drain and remove the old radiator off the wall. I've already done that behind me. Well, a quick tip before you do that, turn the heating on and check which is the incoming feed to the radiator. So all you would do is feel which pipe gets hot first and because for some radiators, you will need to know which one it is. So there's loads of videos online on how to drain and remove a radiator. So I'm not gonna go through that right now. So I've removed the two pieces that cover the pipe work and that gives basically gives me access to the feed of the pipe. So I'm going to be doing this whole thing with push fit connections so anyone can do it. It's really easy, really straightforward. Hopefully this video helps. So we want to move it from here to here and we've also opted to change from a standard conventional radiator to a nice new vertical black radiator. The next step would be to fit the new radiator in its position. I'm doing this next because then I can route the pipe work exactly to its location. <laughs> So now you've got access to all your pipes, you can decide where you want to do the first cut. I'm just going to cut just before this corner bend here, and then I can clean the pipe up and make my first connection. So I'm just going to clean the pipe up now with some emery cloth. Obviously it's an old pipe, so make sure that it's clean. I'm doing this whole job using the JG speed fit fittings. There's a line on these connections where the pipe has to go through to go through the seal. So make sure that you're pushing them through properly. I've also got these 13 mil insulation tubes. These are really important. They help. They help reduce heat loss and also to protect the pipe from freezing in the winter, uh, amongst other things. So yeah, these are really important to have. So here I've cut two lengths of 40 mil copper pipe. I've done this just basically to clear the joist underneath, and then created the hole using an 18 mil drill bit. For the return side of the radiator, I've obviously put this in. That's tight on here now with the olive in it. I'm just going to reach underneath and get this elbow connection on, and then I'll be able to route that back to the original pipe. So obviously when you're using it, make sure you unscrew it all the way outwards and then try and, it's easier if you twist it as you're putting it on and then you can lock it off after. So I'm not gonna lock it off yet just because I might need to change the angle. And then what I can do is feed this over to that location. So it's going to be fed from here and you can see the pipe in there. I've just got to take the little tape off the end of it and then I can fix that onto there and put the rest of the insulation on. So now I can put this on to this. That is in. All that's left to do is to fix this onto that elbow joint there. So now I know that that works, I'm going to take it back out and you might be wondering why. I'll show you. So you pull the tab back. And the reason why is because you need to it's recommended to fit these super seal inserts on the plastic side. So I'm gonna go back, take them out and put these in and also the rest of the insulation. We've 
got the valves on on the pipe and blocked them off and we've put the pressure back up on the boiler and gone around and checked all the pipes and there's no leaks. We're not going to fit the pipes to the radiator yet because we need to set the radiator off a few times to do decorating and painting and stuff. So obviously now you would normally connect the pipes up and bleed it all through but obviously we can't do that. But yeah I hope you can see that it was really easy to do using the push fit connections. Just makes everything really simple. So that was how to move a radiator across the wall. I hope the video helped if you're looking to do this yourself. And yeah as you can see there's not much to it. Keep your eyes open for the rest of our living room renovation. And if you're enjoying the videos, please like and subscribe.